What's up guys, Ankle Spankin' here, and today we are playing as Draven in a rank game. And uh, I know, I know, you guys are probably like, oh my god, you're doing the same thing that you just did with Lucian, and you're gonna release like a trillion Draven videos, and no. Just another one. <laughs> just another one. Um, no, it's on a really low CD though. Sorry, just answering this question real fast. But, um... No, just just plain Draven. And this is actually gonna be one of the first games I truly pre-record that I like. I'm actually totally setting aside as pre-recorded footage, just so you guys know. Um, this is recorded on December 18th. I don't think that's really relevant. I don't think anyone really cares. But just in case you guys, if if you guys were somewhat wondering, because uh, this will be uploaded later than December 18th. Uh, this is, this is when, just in case, like, another patch comes out or something by the time this is up, I don't know. But anyways, as I said, this is a rank game. Uh, I have been kind of paying more attention and noticing that you guys, like, a decent amount of you guys, well, not a decent amount, but some, definitely some. I know that my channel is here for, uh, a good spit between entertainment and, um, education, so... I messed this up, by the way. There's a way that you can time your axes to let yourself get uh, double axes spinning by the time you get to lane. You have to do it about, like, three or four seconds before the thing actually spawns. And then, um... And then you throw and catch your axe, and then by the time your cooldown's back up and you're running, you can actually get two axes spinning. But that's not the point. I wasn't paying attention, so I didn't do it. And now I already forgot what I was talking about. Great. Great. I do this way too much. Anyways, let's get CS in. We are against an Ezreal Annie lane. Um, not really afraid of the Ezreal, but the Annie is a totally different story. Annie is a terrifying support. Absolutely terrifying. Because of her ability to AoE stun and do tons. Just absolutely massive amounts of damage. But anyways, now that I've gotten that off my chest, I think I remember what I was talking about before. Uh, it was with the Draven videos kind of thing, and all right, we got level 2 as well. I was going to say, we need to back off because they got level 2. But we got it too, so it's okay. But, um, essentially, I'm a pretty bad Draven. I'll be totally honest with you guys. I just love playing them way, way too much to just not play them. So, <laughs> that's really what it comes down to there. Uh, I'm not really poking near as much as I should right now because I'm kind of focused on talking and, uh, and whatever that word is. Whoa, looks like Gragas picking up the first blood in the top lane there. Good job, Gragas with a jack skank. But, um, the only way I'm really going to get better with Draven, I guess, is if I'm, uh, whoa, the, or the freaking death sentence off on that Annie right there. Great job, Thresh. Sick grab. Definitely got some good harass off on her. So, great death sentence. I had, actually, like, I didn't even see that one coming. I'm on his team. <laughs> Great job, though. Another death sentence coming in. I have a feeling this guy has played Thresh a few times, because that grab looked really close in between all the minions, too. I'm going to go ahead and drop my Warden Trinket in there and hit Annie with a spinning axe right to her face for some free harass. Well, not free, but next to free, because she's not as strong yet as she will soon, or will soon be. But that is, that is good for us. And the death sentence coming out again. Going to use the stand aside right there, and that will be... Uh, kill, we'll kill, kill, kill for me, there it is, and let's go ahead and just duel this guy, cause if I can, uh, catch my axes, yeah, he's not gonna outduel me, yeah, he's done for, he's done for, and there's the barrier, and there will not be the kill, will not try and force it, but, um, that will be Ezreal's barrier and his flash, so, wait, did he flash? I think he flashed, I don't know, but that will definitely be his, uh, his barrier, so that is very good for us, and I'm seeing that our, tr our Thresh is uh, is very pleased with my play. I misplayed that myself, actually. Uh, I actually could have saved Thresh's life and actually easily picked up a double kill on Ezreal, to be totally honest with you guys. Um, whoop. Alright. No, I missed the siege! But really what happened there was, since I misplayed it really badly and uh, misclicked on that Annie before... Uh, before I lost vision of her in the bush, I didn't get the kill before she went in, so she was able to actually kill Thresh. Uh, and that was, that was pretty bad for me. I really, really needed to save him, because if I did, that would have been, you know, like, obviously huge for us. And the reason I actually didn't go back, 
partially because, you know, there's a huge wave, or there was a huge wave right here, and partially because I was really close to my BF sword, and I just didn't want to go back. I'm actually going to sacrifice catching that axe to uh, get that melee minion and tell him Thresh that now that I got enough gold for the BF sword, I will be going back very soon and picking up that item because it is pretty much imperative that I get that on Draven. I'm actually going to miss that CS now because I'm bad. And the death engine's coming out. I don't know if this is good for us, though. All right, yeah, I don't want to fight this. That was bad. That was really bad. I'm dead. I might as well just, yeah. I'm not even going to bother using my barrier. I was, um, sorry. But it looks like Jax is coming down. So maybe if Thresh can make plays, I don't know why I went in on that, any like at all, anyways. Uh, the Flash Death Sentence coming out, and Jax will be in here with the stun. Will he kill her? I don't know. No, he will not. He will back off safely, and we will pick up the BF Sword. Whoop. Only one, or only two of those. And grab a BF Sword and a Mana Potion and one more Health Potion. And we'll be good. It looks like Nocturne's Darden is all coming out. I heard it hit bot lane, but I don't know where it is. Jax killed Ezreal, and it looks like he is going to kill the Thresh, but if he tries to fight this Jax, he's going to die. Jax just hit 6, and it would be unwise of Jax to try and dive it, but still picking up a kill. That was a 2, two for 1 total. Three, Yeah, 2 for 1. Yasuo roamed down from mid, actually. So Kha'Zix should try and do something there. Jax actually beating the fuck out of the Yasuo, too. And Jax needs to be careful right now because Yasuo is 6 and does have his, uh, his knock-up thingy there. But, damn, I had some heck of bad hiccups right there. Anyways, in case you guys don't know much about Draven, uh, once you have your BF sword, you literally turn into, like, this god of the lane. Just because you do so much damage. Like, there was one axe right there. I'm actually gonna try and, you know, square on out of here before they combine their damage on me. But I was trying to make a point to you guys and show you just how much damage I was doing with that one hit. And as you saw, it was nothing to, you know, scoff at. And Ezreal was only able to pick up his Berserker Greaves and another Doran's Blade. So my damage on him is massive right now. I have so much damage on them, and we should be able to pretty much dominate this lane now. If I, Unless I'm playing it horribly or we get really badly ganked a lot. Well, let's see, and he has two stacks of Energize. Eyes. There'll be some good damage off on her with an auto. Gonna get that CS. And let's grab this one as well. We are not CSing very well, uh, but we are ahead of Ezreal. And we've also... Wait, no, we don't have a kill on Ezreal. Ezreal has a kill on us. But we are still... We should still be ahead of him. So I'm not... Not stressing out too much there. Plus we are Draven. I did get a kill. Uh, not a lot of gold from my adoration stacks, but still some. And let's see. She has three, so I need to be careful. Gonna get my axe of spinning again, because I almost let them run out. Would prefer to not. And let's see... When, Ezra, or when Annie has three stacks of her Energize, which is her passive stun, by the way, uh, you guys, there is a trick with Annie that you need to watch out for, especially when she has three. If Annie's know about it, it can be pretty uh, pretty unexpected, and it will happen. It looks like the Descent is just coming out. We'll, we'll miss, though. He was trying to count up. Oh my goodness gracious, that damage. And she kind of did it, but I just took a shit ton of damage myself. Good lord, because fucking Annie does so much. Oh my lordy. Alright, let's see. Nothing's coming out of there. I need to get my axes again. I need... Oh god. And he got Tibbers. Oh god. 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 I'm flashing over. I saw a Nocturne right there. Oh god. She hit six and she flash ulted onto me. Huh. That level though. Damn, I had to buzz both my summoners to get out of that. Because she leveled up at a very, very opportune time for them. And, oh, God. That's what I was saying, though. Annie is terrifying. We are very strong, yes, now that we have the BF Sword. But Annie did get six before us. So she was able to just dominate us. And that'll be a kill off on Jax, or on the Asuo for Jax. It looks like Gragas is at least dominating top now. now. Let's see, will Jax be able to duel this? Let's see, Jax, show us your stuff. The Empower was blocked by the Spell Shield. We'll not be able to duel it. And that was a wreck. Looks like Nocturne is 5-1. and one, Has over half of their team's kills. So that's... In all honesty, it's actually kind of good for us that it's like that. And let's see if I can uh, just hurl my Whirling Death up there and uh, hit R right there. And not going to kill him, but will do some damage. I was hoping I would be able to 
do something with that. But at least I got him off the thing. Um, oh well. My world and death won't be up for a few seconds now. We got, we definitely gotta keep that in mind. Um, and by a few seconds, I mean a minute and a half here. I was kind of hoping that would do do more damage to him, but it didn't. It happens. Well, let's go ahead and just uh, keep CS in here. The death sentence coming out, not gonna connect. Sweeper lens coming out there. We'll get the ward out of that bush. Sadly for us, um, Annie does have her stun up. She probably has Tibbers up pretty soon, because Tibbers isn't that long of a cooldown to be honest. I shouldn't have gone to catch that axe. That was a, you know, a bit of a mistake there. Missing CS to grab an axe. I can't really, can't really follow up on that. I get too vulnerable right now, um, from the Annie, until I've got my ultimate back up, or at least some of my, some of my summoners. So I need, I need something. I'm gonna drop a ward right there, just, you know, for the sake of dropping a ward right there. Um, oh god, oh god. I should have just let that auto attack go off. I made a mistake. The oh my god, the ultimate coming out from freaking Annie just carrying that. All right, Jax is coming in, going to run towards him, and let's go ahead and get this axe bounce off of Tibbers. And oh god, oh god, please. Oh my god. <sighs> that sucks. Jax jungle is not good, by the way. In case you guys were wondering, Jax is not you know designed for the jungle. Uh, we had a miscommunication in champion select, if you guys couldn't tell by the champions. Uh, Gragas thought he was going mid, Kha'Zix thought he was going mid, and Jax thought he was going top. <laughs> but, I was really, really kind of hoping that that wouldn't go the way it did. It looks like they're doing dragons, so I'm just going to launch my will and death down there. Uh, see if I can do anything, let's go. Will only pretty much help them get the damage off on it. I was kind of hoping that I would hit them for some damage off on them. But, um, they actually stood over here instead of on the dragon, so that was good for them. At least our Grogs is 4-1, so he's going to be really massive in team fights. And if I can farm up and get to my, uh, my items, I'll be massive still, too. But it looks like this Annie is getting really big, and that is not good for us, because, as I keep saying over and over again, I'm hoping you guys are picking up the hint that I'm saying. If you guys want, like, free wins as a support, like, if you get stuck as support, just play Annie. Um... Because literally all you do is you get your stun up and then you smash your keyboard onto them and use your 625 auto attack range to, uh, to dominate and just poke whenever you can't use your spells to poke. Because Annie is so strong. Like, her burst potential is insane. The death sentence actually coming out, and this will be a bunch of damage off here. And just going to go ahead and drop that. Looks like the flash came out from the Ezreal. Good death sentence. Took absolutely no tower shots myself. And now that Ezreal's that low with no flash and Annie is mid. On her way back down though. We will be able to fight this to be honest. Because I have my uh, my barrier and I will have my flash here very soon. The ultimate coming out from Ezreal. Never mind, Annie's not even coming back down. Death Sentence landing! This guy is done for! And that will be whammo! There's the kill! Great job from Thresh. We'll pick up, or we'll cash out the Maduration Sacks. Can't really afford to cash that X. Because, uh, oh, hey, look, there's any. Looks like Kha'Zix picking up a kill on the Asuo. Great job. And let's see here. Going to just kill these. These. And get this. Level up my Blood Rush again. And let's see if we can get this. Never mind. Nocturne is here. I am lanterning out of there. Thank you for that dark passage. And while Nocturne is bottom, it looks like Renekton actually killed Gragas. And lost his tower. What? What? Gragas was doing so well. What happened? Oh. His build happened. Alright. Well, I don't really want to walk up to that. Because, you know, Nocturne could still be down here. Or he could obviously be in ulting range. And Annie can just, like, burst me. Obviously, I thought Ezra was coming back a lot sooner than he was. But uh, he was still pretty close to me in time anyways. So it's it's safer to just not even walk up and try and get CS really. Just stay in, you know, experience range if you can. It's just easier that way to try it. Whoop, I ran right into it. Good job, me. Absol absolutely superb. But there's my Thresh. And let's go ahead and see if we can do something here. Uh, looks like Nocturne is coming bot. They may try and dive us. Def it's definitely a possibility that they may try and dive us. Because Nocturne is very good at diving. 
Uh, and so is Annie. Annie is very good at, you know, helping those dives. All because of, you know, her huge AoE stun and her burst. And I missed that CS because I'm garbage. And I just missed Clash, but I should still be able to... Yeah, there we go. What the hell? I missed that X? Man, this is porpoise as hell. That's okay, though. Still getting all the CS. Still have two axes. We're still good. And I am able to actually get my uh, my BT on my next back, so that's good for me. Uh, and then we will work on the Triforce. And you guys may think I'm actually trolling with the Triforce, but if you're confident in your ability to catch axes as Draven, Triforce is actually a very, very strong pick on him. Warded. I just want Jax to know that's warded. Um, I guess he's still chilling in there, though. And there's Yasuo. I'm fucking... No, oh, I'm getting out of here! Hell yeah! Let's go ahead and try and stand them aside the... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whirling Death coming out. Let's see if we can do some damage here. Gragas is down here joining the party. Going to get my barrier off and try and flash out. Will not be enough. And this was the dive I was scared of. But Gragas... Oh, getting his barrel blocked by the wind wall from Yasuo. The slow coming out. Nocturne will probably get out of here, actually. The tower just doing a bunch of damage to him. Don't think it'll kill him, though. But Kha'Zix does have evolved wings, so he may be able to catch up. Gragas actually caught the Yasuo as well. And let's see. He's... Maybe? Maybe the slow not going to connect because he freaking got a spell shielded. So that will be probably about the end of that fight. Renekton was able to push, he's not going to get that turret, I don't think, because Gragas is Gragas, he'll be able to kill that wave before he can do it, just like that. Um, I still picked up a kill out of that, so it wasn't too terrible for me. And it looks like Kha'Zix will get this tower for us, so I'm actually going to go back and get Berserker Greaves. So, uh, I got my BT and my Zeal on that back, and now my Berserker Greaves, so pretty big back for me. Got a lot of attack speed and a lot of damage. Kha'Zix doing a bunch of damage to my Ezreal. So good job there, buddy. And we got to get this BT stacking. So I'm going to start working on this white camp because Kha'Zix is pushing my lane. And it looks like Thresh is actually pushing his lane too. And Yasuo is back in it. Actually, this game is pretty even right now, to be honest. 16 to 16. Uh, the towers, there's one down in bot, none down in mid, one down in top on our side. So very even overall right now. Now, I'm not going to actually trigger the second axe yet. I'm going to wait for that just a little bit. It looks like Annie's... Oh, they're going for that. They are going for that. Let's go ahead and drop a ward right there. And they... <laughs> they know that I know they're going for that. So they'll be going for that very soon. Uh, they are just waiting for it. So that's kind of interesting. That ward can't see me right there, so that's good for us. I'm actually just going to walk down here and... Uh, work on the minions. I guess they mistimed the dragon or something. Oh, there it is. The dragon's up now. And we should try and do something about it. But, let's see if there's anything we can do. It looks like... Right, I got the double axes going. Are we gonna... Are we gonna do anything? I need... I'm trying to keep my axes spinning. Alright, come here. Get, get fucked, Danny. Get fucked. Oh, you're not getting fucked. Get fucked, Danny. Come on. Come on. Get that axe. There we go. Alright, the Descendant's gonna connect. This will be a kill off on the Annie. Hell yeah. Annie ran the wrong way, and it was her demise. Oh god, what the hell? This dude's so fit. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, he's so strong. He's so fed. Oh my god. I should have just tried to run away from him. But that will at least... They will at least kill him, so that should be the dragon for us. Um... Damn. That, I think that should be the dragon for us, though. At least they got the shutdown on him, off on him, so that'll be helpful. Two pink wards going down. Uh, Gragas, ooh, escaping with his life, but I don't know if that top tower will. I'm actually going to throw my whirling death at it if Renekton's still pushing. Because, yeah, he's not still pushing. Oh, he totally is. Uh, Gragas is going to get there in time, though, so that's good for us. Um, I kind of want to get back to farming bottom more. But at the same time, I, need, I know I need to be helping my team some as well. So it's kind of an iffy thing for me. Uh, let's see if we can get over here and help. Crocodile dashing through that wall will get caught out by the rest of my team here. And let's see if I can... I really, really wanted to throw my whirling death there and try and pick that kill up because he had a blue buff on him too. Um, that was kind of iffy. Let's go ahead and try and help this guy out here, the... Sandicide coming out will pick up the kill. 
Now let's go ahead and try and do something to this Yasuo here. Gonna drop the Whirling Death and that will not be a kill. Oh shit. I kind of got really scared of everything because, you know, Nocturne's crazy fed. Um, oh god. Ugh. So, I really, really pussied out on that one to be totally honest with you. Top turret going down. May be able to get mid turret. Possibly. Um, with Grogs' help I should be able to, no problem. Let's do some damage to this guy. There we go. Um, got my level 2 whirling death now, so that'll be good. Helping me clear that wave will get this tower, because this, this tower is really low. So that's two towers for us, actually, in that push, so that's good. Nocturne on his way bottom? I don't know about that, Gragas. <laughs> I don't know about that. And Jack said to do his red, so I will go do that real fast. Um, let's see if I can... No, I didn't do it in time. Shit. Whatever. I was trying to keep my axe paint so I could have double axes, uh, but I messed it up, so that kind of sucks. We'll get the red here in a second, though, just doing these rates for a bit more money in BT stacks, in case it wasn't fully stacked, I didn't check. Uh, looks like Gragas is going for some damage there in the middle. And by the way, if you guys are doing the Triforce Draven build, I didn't know much about it until recently, and I honestly still don't know too much about it, but I do know that, um, whoops, sorry, was kind of caught up talking. But I do know that when you're trying to do it properly, you do need to get the uh, the zeal first before a phage or a sheen. Because the sheen, I mean, it's good, but you don't really need it. Where you know, with a uh, with a whatever it's called, the zeal, it gives you that crit that's really good on you, and it also gives you the um, you know the attack speed and the passive movement speed. Where phage also gives you movement speed or fag, as I like to call it sometimes. But um. Not near as necessary. Let's see. Oh gosh, hell no. I am so close to having this. Oh god, I want to try and jet that from him so badly. But I really need to run down here, see if we can just do some damage to this crocodilio here. Uh, the Nocturne all coming out. I am fucking hiding. Alright, what, what? what's the deal? Oh, they dove bottom. Let's go ahead and throw the Whirling Death right there and let's see if we can... Nail! Oh, oh, that will be a kill for the Thresh! Oh, shit! I'm gonna flash stand aside on this guy. That will be the kill. And then... We gotta try and help him. Run to us, Gragas! Oh, God, I don't have enough... Ooh. That could have been really bad for him. Gragas, will you make the plays, my friend? Kha'Zix jumping over the wall. Need to throw my axe and catch it. Will not make the plays. But I will get this CS instead. And Yasu is coming up behind me. I don't have mana to help. So I hope my team, yeah, they backed off. They know what they're doing. But I can go back and get my uh, my Trinity Force now, so that'll be good for me. Get and try. Just telling my team that. And then the next item, of course, is Last Whisper. Very, very, very powerful item on Draven. And looks like they picked up a kill on Yasuo, too. Great job, guys. So now I've got the Triforce on lock. And by the way, I know all I mentioned earlier was if you're good at catching asses on Draven... You can do that, but if you, um, the way it actually works is because when you're catching axes, it makes your blood rush cooldown refresh. So the more axes you catch, the more times you can blood rush, and then the more times you can activate your sheen proc to do massive, massive damage with your next, uh, Q, which, you know, obviously with your freaking, oh my god, that is a dead Annie, see ya girl. Let's go ahead and get out of that tower range there. Also, as you can tell when I kill a unit, I get insanely freaking fast. Let's go ahead and get over here and help this guy. That will be a bunch of damage. And let's not catch that axe, because fuck catching axes, that's stupid. And let's go ahead and just get some more axes spinning. Do some damage to this tower. Nocturnate standing up to shit. That fucking wall is deflecting me. I'm gonna try and uh, not even help that. And let's go ahead and just throw the whirling death right there. And that will be that. Gonna kill the tower, and then let's see if we can get a hit off on Ezreal. We'll kill him with that freaking Triforce Sheen proc. And then, got my two axes spinning still. Just gonna try and drop this guy. Oop, catch the axe. That will be the slow off and the kill. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this tower right here. And that will be good for us. That was a really, really good push for our team. We desperately need that. Get my double axis spinning again because I did miss one. Let's go ahead and try and stand this side, this guy. Uh, get him over here. He is done for. That will be another kill. Great job, Kha'Zix. We'll get this inhibitor now on this push. 
And that will be... Oh, hello, Yasuo. Actually, will be another kill for me. And... Oh, shit. Hey, baby! Boom! Bam! Bam! Come on! Bam! There's the double kill. Let's go ahead and stand aside this guy. Wham! Wham! Bam! Dodging the skill shots, and that will be another kill for the Gragas. Great job, buddy. Get myself out of here. And let us be done with this. Because that was quite the invasive push on our part. Very ballsy. Gonna drop my ward right there just to make sure no one's coming out at me. And that was very, very, very well played on my part. Uh, not to brag, but, you know, I'm just honest with myself. Taking the Dark Passage just to get to Dragon. Thank you. Thank you, Thresh. You're a nice guy. And I'm glad this guy is approving of my Draven play, because I have... I've had my, uh, my, my doubts on my Draven play. Where... Oh, the red just spawned. So they can't really go get it. Great job, top, though, guys. But that will be my last Whisper now. So, great pickup for us. Uh, kind of, I almost want to just throw my whirling death down mid or something and try and pick up some CS. Because I really, I'm doing it. Fuck it. Fuck it, dude. I'm doing it. I'm doing this. Alright, come on, Ezreal, get the fuck out of the way. Annie, no, get the fu fucking, yes! Yes! That will be enough CS to pick up a BF sword here in like 10 seconds. So, that was worth my ultimate. Uh, the BF sword will definitely be going towards the... Actually, let's see. It might be going towards a Mercurial Scimitar, just because Nocturne and Annie. But I guess apparently it doesn't matter because their Yasuo is gone. So that's that's sad, unfortunate, but we were winning this game. Uh, after that last push, definitely we're winning this game. So let me grab this red real fast, and that will be... Uh, that will really help me out. Dra or red's really good on Draven, because if you're, like I said, if you're good at catching your axes, then... And you can kite beautifully, to be totally honest. Thank you, Thresh, bringing me over here. And I'm actually going to go stand in my spot. Oh, I'm going to get knocked up airborne there first. Because if you stand right here, your axes don't really, you know, hurl much other places than right where you're standing. Unless you're fucking trash like me and can't catch a single axe. Uh, that, that does help. <laughs> that does help quite a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they're all laughing about. I must have missed something, and now I'm sad that I did. Because now I feel like it's a joke that I'm not in on. Kha'Zix busting his ultimate run in. The Talisman of Ascension coming out. Going to hit my axe right there so I can keep it up and try and get some double axes going. As you can already see, no IE or anything. And I'm already hitting 1,200 crits. Just in case you guys were wondering how massive my damage actually is. Bam. There's some damage off on there. The freaking fight's breaking out so fast. Let's just try and do as much damage as we can. That will be another kill. Throwing the Whirling Death right here will be triple kill for the Draven! And that will be so much damage ending the game. And that will be great for us. This Thresh just lit up my m freaking face with compliments. Because he makes me feel really good about myself. Thanks, Thresh. Ezreal, on the other hand, is probably a little cranky that he just got pooped on. Uh, actually, I know, I did suck in lane. But that's okay. If you guys enjoyed this, if excuse me, let me try that again. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite. It lets me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.